Hi, I just want to take a, a couple of minutes to talk about adaptivity and data analytics. Now, these are two separate topics, but I'm putting them into a single video because although that adaptivity may not require data analytics, it can benefit from data. Uh, let's just talk about adaptivity first. Now, I'm not a big fan of adaptivity because it's difficult to implement. It's really where the system adapts to the needs of the student. Uh, it's about, I suppose, individualizing the tuition for the student. So now this can be programmed where, um, where uh, depending on maybe the performance of a student in quizzes or various other things that they choose, it will do different things for different students, we'll say. So it takes a lot of time and effort to build that and to make decisions in the design and then to actually build it afterwards. Now, there are systems, uh, adaptive systems that use machine learning. <clears throat> in other words, they learn from the behavior of students earlier on what works better than other things. Now, that requires probably quite a lot of learning material to figure out which is best and re requires a substantial amount of data and time to, to get working well. So this is not necessarily, certainly not an immediate solution for, uh, for an, an institution. Uh, it may be that you're able to buy packages where the student behavior of students from multiple institutions is combined to learn what works well and what doesn't. But in general, adaptivity is not something you would build yourself, but something that you might buy in from outside. So what data do we have about students? Um, well, we, we, if we're using a virtual learning environment or learning management system, we would have a lot of data about their level of activity. In fact, some uh, providers also allow you to have electronic attendance in physical classrooms and build that into the data as well. Uh, the timing when they're when they're accessing materials, when they're doing things, what content that they've asked, how much have they engaged with that content and possibly how are they performing in tests or in uh, questions within content, that type of thing. So performance, those, that's the type of data. So what, we can, what can we do with that? Well, one thing that is possibly relatively achievable, even for a small uh, institution, is to have a tool that will collect data about students across multiple topics that they're learning and provide us with a dashboard with a list of the students and sort of a a red, green, yellow uh, expression of how they're getting on uh, at various points in the course. So, uh, and with that, some systems can uh, intervene automatically, suggesting that they do more of this or whatever. Uh, but possibly easier to implement is maybe that this these dashboards are used to to bring struggling students to, to the attentions of humans who would then intervene. So an advanced system will use the data and then figure out what materials are working well, measure the effectiveness, and then make recommendations accordingly. But that's well beyond the scope of what we're doing here. And I think quite a bit beyond the scope of most institutions. So thank you for watching.